Well, first, let's give the children a round of applause. Because they, they did a good enough job, I don't need to preach. But Chris told me that if I did, I'd get, I didn't, I'd get shot, so I better not do that. Well, we've heard the story. We probably know the story. It's probably one of the things we have memorized. The birth of Jesus Christ, the Virgin Mary, the Joseph the shepherds and the angels and eventually the wise men all showing up. And even, in a sense, the question was asked, who is this Jesus? That's an interesting question because I can preach for 12, 13, 14 years on that. I won't do that tonight for you. But who was Jesus? And what was it all about? Because so often we kind of just leave it at that story, his birth. And we kind of leave it there. But who is he? What's it all about? I think the easiest way to understand it is to look at the Gospel of John. And look how he describes who Jesus is and what he's all about. In the first, first four verses, he starts off this way. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of men. And then in verse 14, the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Who was Jesus? Well, He was the Word. He was the Word. And think about what it means to say the Word. Because how do we really know what something is about? We need words. Either need to hear the words, see the words, say the words, But words indicate communication. And Jesus is a communicator. He's there to tell us something important. The message that needs to be heard, needs to be said, needs to become a part of us. And it's a word that goes from the very beginning. Because that word was God and that word was with God. From the beginning, and it's that basic human understanding of God. Because everybody really has a God of some sort. You look throughout the history of the world, every civilization has had a God because they knew there was something missing. They knew there was things that couldn't be explained all by itself. Because what's the age-old question? Who am I? Why am I here? And where am I going? And the Word is the one who gives us the answer to that. We are God's people. We are here because of Him. And where are we going? To where there is life. And in a sense, God has a little fun with us. Because you all know what logic is? What is logic? When you say something is logical, what does it mean? Something that makes sense, right? Well, okay, that's good. But where does the word logical come from? Logic? It's a Greek word, logos, which means what? Word. Logos is the word. So when John is telling us, in the beginning was the word, In the beginning was logos, logic, God's logic, which sometimes doesn't make sense to us because we can ask the question too many times, why are things happening? Just a couple of weeks ago, we had the shooting up in 
Connecticut. Today, this morning, we had a shooting in Rochester. If you haven't heard, two firefighters were killed when they got off of a fire truck to go put out a house fire. Two others were critically injured by some guy shooting at them just because. Where's the logic in all that? But what God says is, my logic does make sense. There is a logic of what I intended for you as humanity. When I created you, I wanted you to have life. And that life is to be in a relationship with me. Except what happened? Adam and Eve weren't content with that. And they ruined it for everybody and said, we want to go after something else. And so they ruined it all for us. And things like this now become, unfortunately, commonplace. And we can ask questions time and time again. And it's nothing new. The world has been this way for a long, long time. And yet, this is the world that God came to. He didn't just say, well, you've messed it all up and I'm just leaving you alone. No, he became an active part of it. He sent us the word. He sent us his son, Jesus, to come into this. The word became flesh and dwelt among us. He came and became one of us to show us life, the life that's intended for us. But even more than that, he came to die for us, to die to show us life. And finally, he rose to give us life. When everything else falls apart in our world, this is what keeps me going strong. And I pray it's what keeps you strong, is that God is a part of us. He came to us in Jesus Christ to call each and every one of us to be in that relationship with him. And there we have life. This baby who came is the baby who grew to be a man who died on a cross to give his life for us so that we may have new life. The reason for the season is Jesus Christ. And keep him in your hearts, in your minds, and in your words. In the name of Jesus, we pray.